When Freddie Batesh was in his third year learning in Israel, he started feeling very sick. I started getting like these headaches here and there, and then the headaches progressed to vomiting, and by the time Hanukkah, December time, rolled around, I had lost about 30, 35 pounds of muscle. When his mother came for her annual visit to Israel, she took one look at him and knew immediately that something was terribly wrong. She brought me to the hospital. They checked my blood work. They didn't believe what they saw. They actually came back and took the tests again. They diagnosed him with kidney failure. In just a couple of weeks, Freddie went from being this healthy, young, and very active guy to being dependent on dialysis and fighting for his life. They flew him back to America. He enrolled in the UNOS list, a list where almost 100,000 people are waiting for a kidney transplant. And the wait time is eight years. Most people don't make it on dialysis for more than five years. Freddie Batesh needed a miracle to survive. I like to read a lot of books. So we have this book called One Word Amen. It talks about the power of saying a blessing and somebody answering amen. And they have these things called bracha parties. Freddie showed it to his mother and his mother decided to organize an Amin party in the merit in the schus of a refuah shalema for Freddy. We went to a class in the shul, and after the rabbi's class in the ladies' section, my mother said, oh, I want to make a, uh, a bracha party. My son's not feeling well. Who wants to help me? So one girl goes, okay, I'll help you, no problem. She ended up organizing a party where 120 women came to a house, each one with their dish. Every woman made a bracha on their dish. Everybody answered amen. It was a tremendous, tremendous success. The party was on a Wednesday night. Less than three days later, Shabbos afternoon, they got the call. We're sitting around Shabbat lunch, and we hear the phone call, and we hear on the answering machine, and the lady said, you won the lottery. We found a perfect matching kidney for you. A man in Texas had just passed away, and it turned out that Freddie was an exact match to this man's kidney. It's called a six antigen match. So they jumped into the top of the list. To have the match, all six DNA pieces, a one in 10 million match. It's like hitting all six numbers in the lottery. Within 24 hours, Freddie had a new kidney and a new lease on life. He slowly recovered and after a few months, Freddie was young, healthy and active again. He was back to his usual self. And my mother still kept in touch with that girl that had helped set up the bracha party. My mother said, oh, my son is feeling good. He's ready to date. Why don't you go out with him? She said, okay, give it a shot. He went home and he told his mom, mom, she's just like you. And um, we got engaged three months later. Today, they've been happily married for over 10 years. Freddie and his new wife, Judy, embraced the mitzvah of Amen into their lives. We would invite some friends over. We would do it with my mom and my nieces and my nephews and my brothers and my sisters. And we always made it a celebration. And we would pray for other people. Usually we would stop the video here and it would be the end to a beautiful story. Except two years ago, Freddie started feeling sick again. When he went to check himself out, the doctor told him that his kidney was failing again. Because he had gotten a kidney from a deceased person, there's a shelf life, there's an expiration date. It can't last for longer than 10 years. Freddie's time was up. And now Freddie needed another miracle to survive. One night, we just like had enough. And we're sitting there at like, you know, 10 o'clock at night, like, okay, what are we gonna do now? We just felt so low and it's not that we didn't believe in Hashem. We did. We just were like, what now? And all of a sudden, my phone rings. On the phone, it was Freddie's brother, younger brother, Maurice. He told Freddie, with tears in his eyes, that he can't watch him suffer like this anymore. I decided to go through some testing behind my brother's back. I didn't want to, you know, make any scenes. And they said, you're a six antigen match. And that's the highest possible match that you can have. We scheduled with the hospital, and that November I had my second transplant. Fred was always my older brother. Then I could look up to him. Fred started surfing, I started surfing. Fred started snowboarding, I started snowboarding. Fred started becoming more Shomer Torah Mitzvot. I jumped on the bandwagon, and he literally changed my life. And in a sense, he gave me life. A life of Torah, and a life of uh, Mitzvot is life. And I thought it was amazing that I could give him, him life through this kidney. The odds of getting a six antigen match twice and in the process finding your other match, your life's partner, is nearly impossible. And to think that all of this started with a commitment to saying Amen 
is unbelievable. Three days later, you know, getting a phone call, hitting all six numbers in the lottery, like all six DNA pieces matched. From the impact that the bracha party made in Shamayim, it was like a direct result for us. So the next time you hear someone reciting a bracha, make the conscious effort to pay attention to answer Amen. It's just taking a moment to connect to God and you see such crazy miracles. You will create a spiritual force that will advocate on your behalf and help generate all the blessings you're waiting for.